Welcome back to We Happy Few. Last episode, we went across the Megiddo or Megiddo Bridge, which took us into Lud's home, which is a lovely place that has the plague in it. The plague all over the place and people infected with the plague all over the place. And those people want to kill me. So, just spent a little bit of time in here. We just opened up and cleared out this track access hatch and the shelter and all of that. So we have a nice safe place to go in here. So now it's time to actually explore Lutz Holm. I want to explore it in general, but let's do one main quest before I start branching out and doing other stuff. Let's visit the house of the inventor, Dr. Faraday. They're really close. I should eat. Oh. I don't have any water, do I? I don't have any juice left either. I'll have some scotch, sure. <laughs> this is my sprint speed now. What am I wearing, by the way? Tattered clothes and the broken helmet. That's probably fine for here. All right, general people don't want to kill me. Nah. Mimi Slaymaker, that's a good name. It could be worse, I think. It's hard when you can't trust your own memory, innit? Mom, Dad, I've come home. Well, don't you worry, dearie. Everything will be all right from now. In honored memory of the British officers and soldiers who fell at Waterloo. Whoops. This... Who's running? I don't think they were running, actually. I think it was two footsteps or more at the same time. Adding together to sound like somebody running faster. This Blomfield nine-pounder was erected by the citizens of Wellington Wells. What's that quote down there? The meat hot. The meat cold. The I meat in the pot. Nine days old. That's sad. For he today that sheds his blood Am with I me shall be my pot? brother. Am I? Hmm. It's called a nine pounder. I don't know anything about cannons, but I'm assuming that's probably the weight of the cannonball that it shot. Maybe. Can I use this thing? Nah, fair enough. to isolate Dr. Faraday. They must be extremely dangerous. Damn. How am I going to get in there? What's the ruckus? Wait, hold to extract car. Need the extractor, of course. What exactly does the extractor do? Does it just, like, bring raw materials out of the thing? Would this give me metal and stuff if I had it? Ah, failed the test. Ooh, there's a greenhouse. Wait. Is that Faraday right there? Pretty low security around the back. <laughs> Pipe valve, that looks important. It's probably a quest item. It's probably for this thing that's spewing water, actually. What the fuck are you doing here? Oh, leave us alone! Why won't you leave us alone? She's going to fucking kill us if we keep fucking up! 
Don't worry, Roger. I'm going to fix it. Because that's what I do, apparently. I'm fucked. We're both fucked. The professor's gonna kill us. She's gonna tell them to send us away. I'm always mucking things up for her. And, uh, Roger's worse. He breaks everything. The professor's gonna send us both away. <laughs> Can you get us a new valve? I'd let you use the professor's lab. Oh, it's brilliant. Dr. Faraday's a woman. <laughs> it never even occurred to me he'd be a woman. And she has... Houseboys. <laughs> Houseboys. <laughs> oh, I gotta give them the damn pipe valve. I wanna put it on myself. Alright, fine. Here. I want you to have this. Oh, brilliant! Oh, this is perfect! Thank you! Oh, you've saved us. Look, go on in. The lab's brilliant. Roger will give you a hug. <laughs> Maybe the professor can help you too. All right. Antiseptic bandage now available. New recipe. Sweet. Roger? Where's the sandwich? Roger? You take your choice. Oh, no. Still waiting for the sandwich. I don't hear in James. Rogers? Stop fucking the James. Roger. What? Stop pole dancing and bring me up something to eat. No one's actually a dog fucker here, right? Let's disable this. No one's looking right. Nope. I don't want to have to take joy. Yeah, there we go. Mm, blueprint for a torch. Empty. Wait, so I can craft an empty torch? That's weird. That's weird that you need a separate recipe for an empty torch versus a filled one. Seems like unnecessary fragmentation of recipes. Oh, I have a 45. No, I don't have a 45 RPM record. I have the ability to make one if I had the parts. Right. I think. Yeah, music box. Right? Actually, no, that requires a 45 RPM record to make. If I had the 45 RPM record, I could just put it straight in here rather than use it to craft something. Oh. I just reached my hand into a burning fire and pulled out some ashes. I have no idea if there's anybody behind this door. This is very risky. speak Latin. Because it's 1946 and the Romans left Britain in 450 AD. I can't hear you. Why do you want to speak Latin? You always... You always... You always know. You always know. You always know. You always know. You always know what each... You always know what each word means when it comes out. Impedimenta, the baggage. Impedimentorum, of the baggage and impedimentis to the baggage. So it doesn't matter what all you say things? Yes. So long as you're talking about baggage. What? No, Arthur, I'm talking about... Oh, fuck off. Why are you learning Latin anyway? You still have trouble with English. I can see it in my head. You make the words by sticking endings on them. Well, that seems like an awful lot of effort. When you learn German. When... When you learn German. When you... I don't want to learn German. You just have to stick the right ending onto the word. I don't want to learn German. It's very good language. It has very strict rules. Imagine my surprise. Maybe I should try going the normal way first. Right, like I'm not trespassing right now. It's not like people are gonna kill me on sight or anything. Ooh, perfectly good shovel. Yes, please. It's not even stealing to take these things. What's up with these pedals? Why am I 
taking these teacups. Stew. Oh, that'll be food and drink at the same time. Let's eat it. Or drink it. Hi, Roger Bacon. Um, they would probably mind if I messed with this box right in front of them, right? There's no door to close either. Light bulb? I just grabbed a light bulb from there. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. Hey. SS love to Roger. With love from James. Oh! I didn't... I didn't mean to punch. <sighs> uh, we cool? Can I go back in and... We cool? Yeah, we cool. Sorry, mustache. So you'd probably mind if I messed with this? No, I don't care at all. Executive committee letter. For the desk of Beatrix Reeve, voting member, executive committee, Inspector Hockney, City of Wellington, well, special Const constabulary, Appleholm, dear Inspector, the clever bird refused to peck at the nice morsels we offered her. I fear she plans to take wing. You know what happens if the ravens flee the tower. I took the precaution of preparing a lovely golden cage at the location we discussed, where she can continue to peck. Would you mind conducting her to her new habitat? Of course, we'll need one or two caretakers to keep her feeder filled and change the newspaper. I know a couple of confirmed bachelors who are perfect. They dare not make a peep themselves, and they're too stupid to open their cage by themselves. We of the executive committee appreciate all you do. Yours truly, B. Wait, so the plan is basically just that this place is so nice, and the people so fuckable that they just don't want to leave? I guess it worked. Fair enough. Why have they locked up here? And why? <gasps> Stun duck. I couldn't have even hoped to craft that anytime soon. Oh yeah, that just gets around all that stuff. be another another thing I can disable. Yeah, right there. Oh, damn it. I don't have a thingy, a spike. Um, can I craft one? Probably not. Oh, no. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can craft a bunch, actually. Must I? Do not disturb Dr. Faraday. Please take detailed notes on Dr. Faraday's mood and behavior. Irritable, irritable, question mark, contemptuous, bad, Peevish, flew into a rage, grousing, pacing. Okay, maybe they don't love it here. Dr. Faraday. Oh, hello. You're not James and Roger. Did the executive committee send you? No, 
No, I, uh, these chaps, they're trying to open the bridge to St George. What a coincidence. I can't open my own door either. What, what do you mean? You, you're locked in? What did you do? I told the executive committee I wasn't going to make any more spankers. Or gates. Or clever locks. Or pupas. Or jubilators. Those are all my designs, you know. They can do that. Then no, I don't work for them. Ah, then you're rather brilliant to have got in, aren't you? Please, will you let me out? Hmm, how? I don't suppose you see a large red button on that side that says, open the cage? There is a button, but it doesn't say that. Ugh, I was afraid of that. They don't trust those boys out there. I can't say I blame them. I can't trust them not to set themselves on fire. All right, maybe you can still help me. I was sort of hoping you could tell me how to fix the bridge to St George. I can, but not till I get out of here. So, I'll need a few things from you. Fair enough? Uh, sure. Brilliant. I need a bucket full of motiline. According to the pressure control grid, there's air in the pipes here. That usually means a leak. Here, take this vacuum. You can keep it afterwards. I don't plan to be anywhere near here. Motiline Harvester. Is this finally a way I'm going to get to fill all my power cells? Because I've only filled one power cell once. Get a bucket of Motiline. Is there anywhere to fill it in here? Just somewhere... Somewhere else? What does this say? Remember, Dr. Faraday will only eat yellow, white... Yellow and white foods. No eggs, fish and chips, polenta, dandelion flowers. Yes to sawdust. Fungus is okay, but under no circumstances, red. Remember what happened last time. Those are some dietary restrictions. Um, yeah, where does the quest say to go for Motlin? Does it... It's over... Wait. Wait, where is it? Here? Holy shit. Okay, we're going to be exploring for a bit, definitely. <laughs> we're not going to be doing the main quest for a while. Maybe this, maybe the extractor isn't something I can use just in general on pipes. I, maybe it just can be used for like one very specific thing for this quest. Mind if I just, yoink. Up, up here? Oh. Histoplasm. Plas plasma. It seems like a terrible idea to have something so extremely heavy on top of not a very strong structure? I mean, yeah, that's not very strong. It's, I assume, glass in between some relatively small boards. I mean, the weight's distributed across some boards here, but still. to just climb stuff. Anyway, yeah, let's explore. So we already checked out the artillery park. We have not gone to the root cellar. Let's climb in some buildings, too. Although if they're not marked, there's probably nothing in them. Oh, teddy bear. I can sleep here? Can you actually? You can. I would not want to sleep on a dirty, nasty bed with no proper roof out in the open. God. Almost to the root cellar. Ooh, I hear people. I do have a flashlight, but if there's people around, I don't want to turn it on. Or do I? It's pitch black. Oh, there's traps everywhere. I can't... Yeah, I need a multi-tool to disable it, so... 
We are going to have to make some noise. Oh, rat, buddy. You better move. Please? Now I can't see. Maybe if I do this, I'll make the rat move. It didn't. I'm sorry, buddy. Sorry. Yeah, it's dead. Oh, is that just the music? That was making that, like, whistling noise? I don't think there is anybody here. Yeah, that's it. Stop that damn noise. Ooh, a filled power cell. And a lot of scotch. Wish this flashlight had more spread. It's really focused. Presta digi digitator. Presta digitator. What is this? Increases area of distraction devices and objects by a moderate amount. Ooh. Oh. Hello. Used up gas mask, electrolock shocker, and two vomit bombs. Nice. Yeah, that's it. Let's just go off in some direction. I did think I used to run the hundred bases. I took the wrong kind of alcohol. <laughs> Alright, that's fine, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Very pretty. I can't keep doing this. Is Lud's home. I mean, I guess it probably extends all the way to there. These days, there might actually be something in the trunk. How do I know if the burning bush is God or the devil? You don't, buddy. I have nine skill points. Hmm. Can't get that choke out taller enemies, although I want that. I should save up for it. But alternatively, more uses for Jimmy bars, more uses for disarming tools. Meh. Reduce visibility at night. That's good. Throwing distraction objects will cause more of a distraction. That's good. Backstabber. Attacks on unaware enemies do double damage. That's meh. Because I could just do a non-lethal takedown rather than do that. Chain sweep. 
More damage, more health. Um, yeah, I'm gonna save up for Big Game Hunter. I haven't even met a doctor yet. And already I might be able to take him down. Non-lethally. Just need three more skill points. Nothing in any of these post boxes. Actually, nothing, like, anywhere. I've traveled a long time and there's not a single thing of significance. Pace yourself, Arthur. Yeah, there's something in a post box. Ooh. There's a very special tree over there and also a bunch of nasty green gas. Let's go check that out. Please stop dumping now chemicals, you'll kill the fish. Dare and endure. Right, Mr. Churchill? Biological hazard. Oh, it's marked as like a quest. I think is what that means. Let's put on our gas mask. Talk to Thomas Cream. Who? Oh, you're not dead. I feel awful. You, you wouldn't happen to have an antiseptic bandage, would you, mate? Someone threw a whole bunch of medical supplies all around here. I, I think I must have stepped on an infected needle. W would you help me clean it all up before someone else gets sick? If I stick my fingers in that pond, won't I get infected too? Well, it's not going to clean itself up. That looks awfully unhealthy. I'm not sure I'd enjoy getting stuck with one of those needles. Oh, I have a recipe for the phenocycline jab. Tidy the pond. Um, yeah, all right. Oh, there's an empty syringe just sticking out there. Is this what they consider tidying up? Is just taking random weird dangerous things from in and around the trash bags? I thought I'd be picking up the trash bags themselves. Look, a friend of mine buried some nice things by the bloody rock. And I owe you something. You can have them. Which bloody rock? Not the bloody rock. The bloody rock. The one where they were cutting up those rats. You can't miss it. You can smell it from 50 feet away, and it's got blood and flies all over it. Huh. Oh. Are, are you having a shower? In toxic water? Okay. No diving. It's not deep enough. It's a really cool tree. What's that? Ours not to question why. Ours but to do and die. Oh, this must be a storekeeper. You've built a lovely tree house. Mine was never this grand. Welcome to the Special Operations Executive. You're the new agent, aren't you? Alfie, what's his name? Great. Here are the other agents. This is Charlie Croker, Jack Carter, Gonville Bromhead, Joe Bandeleur, and Nigel Powers. 
But we're missing Peachy. Peachy Carnahan. He's been kidnapped. And you have to rescue him. All right? Brilliant. Here's everything you need to rescue Peachy. The house they're keeping him in is pretending to be a puppet theatre. But it's really a den of spies. Well, that's one way to stay sane out here. Go stark raving bonkers. I think it's about the fastest we've ever gone from hello to here's a quest. Wait, where is it? Oh, oh, it's right next to the Motelin. What do you have to barter? Wait, I didn't press the right button. Welcome there we go. Back, agent. Report. That's it. Head knocker and sick up tea. Yeah, I'm good. We'll be back in a jiff. Well, let's start heading in the direction of the Motelin, the treehouse thing, and the Bloody Rock. Do I have the ability to, like, make tea or something? Can I craft something to drink other than scotch? That'd be... That'd be here? Yeah. I mean, there's sick-up tea, but... Increases thirst and hunger somewhat because it makes you throw up. Yeah, that makes sense. I just need pure water. Ooh. That's new. Medicated balm. Feel rather a bit better. Heals wounds a moderate amount. So, upgraded version of healing balm. What does it take? Rowan berries and rose of Gilead petals. Well, I mean, I don't use the rowan berries for anything else. And it takes the same number of Rose of Gilead petals. So, that's really good. I'm going to exclusively make that now. Hello. I, I try not to talk about the kids. What is this? C Mystery House, cleanse the doors of your perception. I should have gone with him. Oh, wait a minute. I have a padded suit. Right? Oh, did I... I left it back at home because it was kind of heavy. My inventory space has been upgraded enough, though, that I think I could just take it with me always. So I'll do that next time I'm home. <laughs> Trip. Meeting tonight. No admittance to mundane minds. Enter when the doors to your perception have been cleansed. Okay. It says meeting tonight, but hopefully I can do it even though it's not nighttime. Oops. Strange alcohol. I don't think it's working. Supreme executive power. Maybe it does need to be nighttime. It does say meeting tonight. Probably. Okay. Is there really no other way in, though? Yeah, all right. <sighs> Maybe I should sit down for a bit. Let's eat a sandwich. Oh. All right, Bloody Rock should be right this way. Oh yeah, that's disgusting. So it's just like the communal rat smashing place? If you're there, God, please don't judge me too harshly. 
Two used up gas masks, lead pipe, two music boxes. Whoa. Food didn't used to go wrong this fast, did it? At least there are flowers out here. You'll need something to believe in, huh? You still got a ways to go. Just keep following the roads in that direction. <laughs> 